Rodgers is or was, no. Are the Jets giving him a pass? Technically, no, but just we'll see what the next thing Robert Sala yeah. says. Are they making excuses for him, however? That, definitely yes. Woody Johnson, the owner of the team, tweeting yesterday, their quarterback looked as good as ever this spring alongside a rip of soundless highlights that accidentally had a Tyrod Taylor pass mixed in it. <laughs> uh, Brew, your reaction. Well, this is the owner trying to make nice with Aaron. Because, you know, when Aaron comes down from his high and sees how, like, what's been going on? Oh, this became a story? The, the Jets were cool with this. Oh, I haven't now even thought about this. The he idea that Aaron's <laughs> been, like. Uh, he's out there right now. Right, Who that Aaron doesn't Aaron know. Knows. Like, if he's right. on an ayahuasca retreat, that he doesn't have his phone, Man, no he's cell service. all types of stuff, yeah. but it ain't the it ain't this. I hadn't even thought about that. Go ahead, yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm it just saying, like, when he comes down. Yeah. And sees, wait a minute, this is what's going on. This is Woody getting out ahead of it. Aaron, we love you. You know, you're our guy. You have been great for us, all of that. So, and let me quickly say this. He's 40 years old. There's no way he's looking as good as you don't say. (laughs) But I will say this. It is easier. I don't even know if you agree. It's easier to play quarterback in the NFL today than ever. You yeah. don't – the rules. You don't sure. get hit like you used to. The receivers don't get hit like they used to. And you, the proof of that to me is Tom Brady. In his 40s, statistically, he had some of his best ever years. There's no way he – I know he's smart and he was – you know, had great longevity. There's no way he was as good in his 40s as he was in his 30s. But yet his numbers, two of his top three seasons as far as touchdown passes in his 40s, Three of his eight years, and he played a long time, when he had a passer rating over 100 in his 40s. You know, he threw for over 4,000 yards every year in his 40s. One time, over 5,000. His his career high, actually, in yards. So that shows you it's easier to play quarterback today. So I'm just saying it's the time. I don't know what Rodgers has left, but it can be done because Brady showed us it is a little bit easier. I'm with you. I mean, this is clearly damage control by Woody Johnson, right? Obviously, is that's... it smart damage control, Danny? Because no, we wouldn't be talking about this. We we if had moved come... we had moved oh. on from this story, and well, when he comes back, we're, we're, right? But I right, but I'm saying like, is it was this a smart tweet to send out <laughs> to put back into the media cycle? Aaron, the the Aaron Rodgers looking good as ever missing minicamp. I would argue no, it was not smart tweeting. But go ahead. Most tweeting isn't smart. Most okay. old people tweeting isn't smart. <laughs> sure. it's, not, it's not the best use yeah. of Twitter I've ever seen. But I also think most of this stuff is not going to matter. Like, I happen to believe that you can do an ayahuasca retreat and do some psychedelic drugs in June and be good at your job in September. Like, I think it is within... I don't the, think it's going to affect this play. I, yeah, right. I think it's within the realm of possibility that Aaron Rodgers is a top 10 quarterback in the NFL this year. Oof. It's not likely... But it's certainly possible. Before Patrick Mahomes came along, Rodgers was the best player we had ever seen play the position in terms of some of the things he was able to do physically. He's a four-time league MVP, and I assume he seems like he's got a lot of other interests. Yes. I assume the only reason he's playing is because he thinks he can be great. So I, he only played four snaps last year. I want to see if he's right. Yeah, so I, the, I mean, Kevin Wilds isn't here, so I, on his behalf, I must say, I know. he has not thrown for 300 yards in 23 <laughs> games. Yeah. I also think that you couldn't have more diametrically opposed players in how they approach offseason, how they approach a 24-7 dedication to football than Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. That's fair. And so – and – the only year in Tom Brady's, you know, it, it, he had two years, Tom did, really of this last decade of him playing, where statistically he didn't look like the same guy. His last year in New England when things had right. kind of soured before, and his last year in Tampa. And your argument, I think, is, is a smart one, which is may, that was maybe not just age. It, 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 age maybe had something to do with it, but also that that, that was the one year where – 
that offseason, he had a lot. He retired, unretired, wasn't at training camp, right. had things going on in his personal life, and I think it did hurt him a bit. So I just, I think that Tom is a, a unicorn for a lot of reasons, but I think Aaron is not like following in Tom's footsteps at all from a leadership or preparation standpoint, and I think it is a bad sign that even the owner, the owner of the team feels indebted to Rodgers. That even that guy is trying, he has some version of quarterback Stockholm syndrome. Like, <laughs> I don't want you to be mad at me. I mean, he watched but, Zach but Wilson, you, man. Yeah. You do agree, though, that that's their, their only choice is for everybody to be on board with Aaron Rodgers this year. Oh, yeah, there was it's a It's one year, but this year, you got to make him well, comfortable at, and happy. At this point, yes. I don't. I think they, there's a lot of paths they could have taken right when the season <laughs> ended. They, they could have changed head coaches. They, right, and they didn't. So now there is a bit of a, they're in this ship either way. All right, let's move on to a different AFC East team. Pete Prisco dropped his annual top 100 NFL players list. To no surprise, Patrick Mahomes is at number one. Prisco called it a gimme putt. Don't tell that to Rory. But the Chiefs' <laughs> alleged, alleged rivals, the Bills, should they be concerned? Their only player in the top 100 was Josh Allen, coming in at number six. That is actually dropping four spots from last year, but still the second highest ranked quarterback on the list. Brew, how much pressure is on Josh Allen this year? I gotta be honest, I don't think there's any pressure really. Wow. Whoa. And other than his internal pressure that he puts on himself because he's competitive and wants to win a Super Bowl and beat Patrick Mahomes. Outside of that, who's expecting a great season from the Bills? Their pressure, we know, is it comes from expectation. Well, he's got the second best MVP odds, bro. They're oh, the individually, in the division. there's pressure for him to play well individually. Yeah, but I'm talking he and he will play well individually. I'm talking about to win the Super Bowl to lead like. They are in what I think most of us view as a restart. It's not a complete rebuild, but it's a restart. They have not given him – he has really no proven receivers. Yeah. I mean, they took away his Who best receiver. Super Bowl that way? Well, mm -hmm. right. And I think – now, maybe this might be wrong. I feel like right now it's not about Mahomes versus Allen. I mean, Mahomes is up here by himself. And maybe the people that think Allen is there with him are putting pressure on him, but I'm not. He's not going to do what Patrick Mahomes did. And I just think with what they've taken away from him, I, I don't think any – the expectations are this. He has a great year individually, and I do think he's a high MVP candidate. They win, win the division or at least get to the playoffs, maybe win a playoff game. If they do that – People are going to praise Josh Allen. Oh, okay. So, All right, go ahead. I, I think that's overstating it, but go ahead. So, so, I mean, I'm one of those people. I, I happen to think that Josh Allen is the second best player in football. I do not believe he's as good as Mahomes. Mahomes is on his own tier, absolutely. Mahomes also has some career-long advantages that Josh Allen hasn't had in Andy Reid, Tyree Kill, Travis Kelsey, right. etc. Okay. But, but again, I, Mahomes is clearly the best. But if you are the second best player in football, second best quarterback in football, or even in that conversation, and you've been paid, and you're in your prime, and you're excellent, and you don't have a ring, there is just always going to be pressure on you. There will be pressure. What year about the in pieces year. around you? I mean, he does not have a proven wide uh, receiver. Right, but, but that's but that's why the Mahomes. They, okay, he might not be compared to Mahomes anymore, but he is considered by Pete Briscoe, by Danny, by a lot of people to be the second best. That okay, if Mahomes retired, fair. he's the best quarterback in football. Yeah. Then you are supposed to make it work. That is the job. And he will. And outside and the, of but, Mahomes but, and Brady, who's but, made it work with? But mediocre receivers the, to win a Super Bowl? To, to win a Super Bowl. I mean, because that's what we're talking about, winning the Super well, Bowl. Well, Mahomes and Brady have won basically all of them, so it's a hard way. I mean, that is Recently. Kind of somewhat hard. I, so, I think that, and this is where Danny will get mad, I don't care. I think Josh kind of owes him one for last year. Because last year, when they did have Stephon Diggs, Josh, when they were 6-6 six and six or 5-5 five and five to start the year, it was because Josh was giving games away. And when they went on their run, it was because they took the ball out of his hands. And then and it looks like that's was, what they're going to do now. And then they were in position at home to finally slay the dragon, and Josh came up short on the biggest drive of the year. Tried to fumble the game away. They they recovered it. Then couldn't. It, wait, if you're the second best player in the sport, Danny, yeah. come through. 
I come through in that spot. How did not Stephon four, Diggs look the last years ago? Of the right, Stephon the, gave him nothing. Well, okay, <laughs> all right, but so that is so. So, so like losing to what, Mahomes. Right. But it was, that, you can be second best Mahomes and lose to the best. Mahomes didn't force Josh off the field. Mahomes doesn't play defense, and this is and where and, and but you, you don't know Allen didn't have a bad it, game. He actually had a good game. The, I understand the that. He didn't play as strong, but if but you are the well. second best, we just saw the second best player in the NBA not come through, and people criticized him. Well, like NBA that is, is a lot the, different. I, you know yeah, 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 you have a whole series as opposed but to come through on guy, this drive. You know, but I.